Yo, what is going on? This is your boy, that guy, Face with Face the Music Media. We are back again for another episode of How I Sin. In this video, we will be covering Reasons Subtractor. And let's jump into it. Oh, yeah. Now this video in particular is a little special to me because when I first started my YouTube back in 2007 I believe, I started out doing reason tutorials and that's all I was using on my YouTube channel at the time. And you know, and I ended up moving out to LA and I stopped doing the YouTube but now I'm back at it and this is the first time that I've done a video using reason since then so this one's a little special to me. So let's jump into it man, we got some tractor here and I'm using reason light. I don't even have the full version of Reason. I don't use it anymore. So, you know, I might get it in the future. Who knows? So basically here, what you want to do when you first load Subtractor is go to Reset Device, and that's going to get you your initialized patch. Bang. I want to first turn the level down because as you know, a lot of these synths are extremely loud when you first play them. So let's go ahead and turn that down. Now, the first thing I want to do, I'm going to make a pad sound. So the polyphony at eight is fine, but I'm going to take it up. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is the old phase trick, which is basically when you take two oscillators and offset the tune with the ramp down waveform, it creates a natural pulse width modulation. So let's go ahead and see what that sounds like. All right, so that's kind of low. So let's go ahead and bring those octaves up. So first off, I need to activate oscillator two here. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset the scent here. So let's go ahead and do that. So you can hear the movement already. I'm going to back off of it a little bit. Okay, so another thing I want to do is I'm going to go into the phase mode here and change the phase mode to X. It changes the tone of the oscillators and it makes the phase a little bit deeper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to modulate the phase here because that is basically pulse with modulation there if you want to do it manually. So let's go ahead and see what that sounds like. Okay, so as you can see, it changes the phase and it does the pulse with modulation. So let's go ahead and route that to the LFO. I'm going to sync the LFO and I'm going to, oh, so we already have phase selected. I'm gonna keep it on this triangle. Let's go ahead and boost the amount and then mess with the rate. So as you can hear, it does the pulse with modulation. I love that sound. So next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna mess around with the filter a little bit and see what that sounds like. Nice, I love that. So I think what I'm gonna do is add the, I'm gonna add a reverb to this. What I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to use Arturia's Rev reverb. And um, I think that'll be good for this. Okay, so we have Rev here. And let's go ahead and mess around with some of these settings. This Rev plugin is really dope. It's got a drive where you can drive the input of the sound before it reaches the reverb for a dirtier, distorted sound. 
you have the models here, model one, two, and three. And if you look closely, it has what these models are here written down. Basically, since they didn't have presets back in the day, these have to literally write down settings. So I think that's pretty cool how they did that. Then you have decay time here. You have your blend and width here. And then if you click this button here, you get more settings. You get pre-delay, you get a filter, then you get modulation and equalization. So let's go ahead and mess around and see what we can come up with. That's fire. All right, cool. So I think I want to mess with something real quick. So when I was messing with the pre-delay, I liked that sound that it was doing. So I'm going to put an LFO on that pre-delay. And basically what's going to happen is I'm just going to slightly have the LFO slightly moving to where it creates a warped effect. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go to Max for Live and go to MIDI, LFO. Now, in order to make this work, what we have to do is click on, oh, well, see, everything is already routed out. Usually it's not. Um, you would just click configure and then touch the control you want to control. But as we can see, everything is already populated here. So what we'll do is go ahead and click on the map button here. Now we want to choose pre-delay. So it's actually going insane right now. So I'm going to change that. We'll sync it to the BPM and we'll change that rate. And I'm going to change the depth as well because I want it to just slightly move. So let's go ahead and see what that sounds like. Man, that sounds good. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what it actually looks like. So as you can see, it's just barely moving, but it creates this really nice warp sound. Nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and slow that down some more actually, so it can move even slower. And I'm gonna change the offset to where the pre-delay is a little bit higher up. So let's see what that sounds like. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. All right, cool. So now that we got that sounding good, let's go back into Subtractor and let's fool around with the filter and see what that sounds like. Wow. 
So I'm gonna mess around with some of these envelopes. As you can hear, this subtractor has a really snappy attack on the filters. So let's go ahead and mess around with some of the envelopes and see what we can come up with. Okay, so I think another thing I'm gonna do is mess around with LFO2 and let's see what we can come up with with that. So basically what I just did was modulated the oscillator one and two pitch. So it's slightly moving. I have the rate set to seven. So it's moving really slow and it just creates more of that warped effect that I was kind of doing in the reverb. I like what we got so far. I'm gonna do something a little different in this video. I usually end it out with that. But what I'm going to do is see what we can come up with with a bass line using Synapse Audio Legend. So, you know, the first thing I want to do is come over to a knit patch. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that volume down. I'm going to leave it on mono because it's a bass sound. So I like to start out with the bass line in a higher octave so I can clearly hear the notes because sometimes when you go down into a lower register, you can kind of misjudge the pitch of the notes. So I like to do it in a higher octave and then just pitch it down. <laughs> Let's go ahead and lay that down. Cool. So let's go ahead and pitch that. What kind oh of shit is that? Gosh. Hell no. All right, folks, we are back. <laughs> Yo, Ableton definitely crashed. So that hasn't happened in a long time, and it definitely has not happened with reason or legend. So I don't know what that was about, but um, whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh. So when it crashed, it didn't save anything that I did, like literally. So I had to go back through that screen recording and get all the settings <laughs> and redo it. So guys, just make sure you save after every little thing you do. Luckily, I was recording it, so I got all my settings back. It still doesn't sound exactly the same, but point is, save as you go. Save as you go. All right, so we're back, man. Oh, my goodness. Got the pass here. So let's go ahead and make this bass sound. So as I said before, I had it pitched up because I want to get the pitch right. Let's go ahead and drag that down. And one octave is 12 steps down, so I'll just hit the down arrow 12 times. Let's see what one more down sounds like.
Nice. I love that. So that sounds really good. So, hey, look, that's the end of this video, man. If you enjoyed this video or got any value out of this content, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. We got so many more videos coming your way. So just stay tuned. Go ahead and drop a comment. What's your favorite part of the video? What are some of the synth techniques that you would like to implement? Do you like to just use presets? Do you like to make your own sounds? Have you jumped into sound design yet? Let me know down below in the comments. And remember, man, save as you go, man. <laughs> Almost lost that whole session. So anyway, man, this is that guy face, face the music media. Look, I am out of here.